Whoa, it's actually purple. That's cool. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Joyce Park and I'm back with part two of reviewing Korean sunscreens. Last week, I reviewed the first part of Korean sunscreens where I went over a whole bunch, including like Perito, Misha, COSRX, and more. And today I'm going to review a whole bunch of sunscreens from Isntree. Isntree is a really, really popular Korean brand and they actually just sent me this box. So I figured this is a good time as any to go over some of these sunscreens that are newer and then also go over their cult favorite, which is this one that I use all the time. I'm a little short on time today, so we're just gonna get right into it. I'm not gonna lie, the original, the OG, the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel is still my favorite out of all of them, but I do still advise you watch to the end so you can kind of check out the different textures, the different ingredients, and see for yourself what you might like and not like. This one is a chemical sunscreen and it goes on incredibly lightweight. It is a watery sun gel with eight different types of hyaluronic acid, so it's very hydrating. However, it doesn't feel heavy. It's super light. I would say this is best for spring, summer, and especially especially if you have oily, acne prone, or combination skin. It's good for any skin type, honestly, but like, especially if you have those skin types. It also contains niacinamide, which is a great anti-acne ingredient. It has a bunch of different antioxidants in the form of different fruit extracts. Also, Centella Asiatica, which we talked about. This is a really common ingredient in Korean skincare that I reviewed last week. It also contains ceramides as well as glycerin, which helps to moisturize and also help your skin hold on to water. Okay, talking a little bit about the ingredients. So like I mentioned, this is a chemical sunscreen. It contains octosalate, homosalate, which are all filters available in the United States. And then the cool ones it has that are more photostable and offer a greater range of protection that are available in Asia and Europe include Uvenol A+, Tinosorb S, Tinosorb M, Parcel SLX, which is a UVB blocker, and Uvenol A+, which blocks UVA. I'm gonna show you the texture here. I've used this one for a long time because it's just, it goes on so lightweight and so hydrating, zero sticky feel. Last week I tried all of those sunscreens and they all left a slightly tacky finish, but this one is just, I mean, it's my holy grail for a reason. I use this one all the time. I use it like every day. I alternate between this one and the Beauty of Chosun one and they're pretty similar in my mind, but it rubs in really easily. No white cast, really elegant filters, big range of UVA and UVB coverage, not sticky or tacky, feels moisturizing, and it's SPF 50 plus and PA plus 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 plus. So you're really well protected. All in all, I would rate this one, like this is one of my favorites. I don't think you can go wrong with this. Plus it is pretty affordable. It's less than $20 and you wanna buy it from Stylevana or Yes Style from a reputable marketplace because I do know that some people have been getting fakes of this through Amazon. Next up, this is the Hyaluronic Acid daily sun gel. It's SPF 30 PA++++. So it's kind of like a cousin of this or maybe like a knockoff of this because it doesn't give as strong SPF or PA rating. It has more hyaluronic acid. It says this has 10 types of hyaluronic acid, whereas the other one only had eight. But to be totally honest with you, I don't think that makes a difference. Like, I don't think this is more hydrating than the other one. This one has UV filters that are all available in the US. So it has avobenzone, octosalate, butyl octyl salicylate, which is often used to help stabilize avobenzone, and homosalate. So it has just chemical filters, none of the fancy ones that this one had. It also contains niacinamide, and it is kind of similar to the other one I just reviewed in that it has other similar ingredients. It has the anti-inflammatory extracts, plant extracts. It has the centella, and it also has glycerin, the humectant, helping your skin hold on to moisture, as well as tocopherol, which is an antioxidant. But just looking at the list of the UV filters alone, I wasn't super impressed because these are all filters that we have in the US, and the whole benefit of getting an Asian sunscreen is that you get access to some of their better and newer filters, but let's try it out. So it looks very similar to the other one. Also like a watery sun gel. I would say the consistency between this one and the other one I just reviewed are very similar. This one feels slightly more moisturizing maybe. I don't know if it's because of the 10 types of hyaluronic acid. I don't really think so to be honest. Maybe I just used a little bit more of it, but it feels really nice on the skin. Like it rubs in super easily as you can see. I did not have to rub that in for very long. It doesn't feel tacky at all. Like when I touch this, where I had put on this first one, zero stickiness. 
it really dries completely dry and non tacky. And this one is rapidly absorbing too. So I would say, you know, they're pretty similar in texture. If I had to choose between these two, I would choose this one every time. The Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. I feel like this is kind of like a watered down version of it with not as good UV filters. Okay, next up is this interesting sunscreen from them, the Isn't Tree Purple Protector. It's actually a purple tinted sunscreen. And that's meant to neutralize out yellow undertones, which is kind of interesting to me because a lot of Asian have yellow undertones in their skin. So I don't know if this is meant to hide like certain bruising, like yellow bruising, or if you are having, I don't know, more yellow in your skin for some reason. But it's interesting. I've never seen a purple tinted sunscreen. This one is SPF 40 PA++++, three pluses. And the hallmark ingredient of this one is the onion, the red onion extract. There's a 5% onion extract and a multivita complex. This one also contains allantoin for soothing and heart leaf extract for that same purpose and for some hydration as well. The sunscreen filters in this one, it's a long list, so I'm gonna read it out. Octinoxate, homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene, butyl octyl salicylate, which remember is the stabilizer for avobenzone, and titanium dioxide. So it's a combination mineral and chemical sunscreen. All the chemical sunscreen filters are ones that are available in the United States, and then plus the titanium dioxide, which we also have available here. So I'm really curious about this purple sunscreen, so let's go ahead and try it. Whoa! It's actually purple. That's cool. All right, is it gonna neutralize out my yellow skin? I don't know, I'm gonna put it on my arm. Whoa. I have never used purple sunscreen before. It feels so nice. Like all of these have the same texture, a gel-like, really quick absorbing, very moisturizing texture. I gotta say, Isn't Tree has really perfected their sunscreen textures. Like it feels good. You wanna use it. Quick absorbing, non-sticky, feels moisturizing. You know, I don't think it did anything per se to the color of my skin, but I wasn't really specifically trying to balance out any yellow spots in particular. Like it's not like I had bruising or like fatty deposits of yellow fat in my skin or something, but it feels very nice. I would say if you need to cancel out yellow in your skin, this could be a really great option. It's super interesting and unique for that purple color and that yellow neutralizing ability. But based off of just the sunscreen filters, I would probably still reach for the first one that I reviewed. The special thing about this is definitely the color. The last one on the docket for today is really interesting. It's by Isn't Tree as well, but this is the only mineral sunscreen that they have that they sent me. I don't know if they have others in their lineup, but this is the only one out of the four that I tried today that is mineral. So this has zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. It also has a bit of that butyl octyl salicylate, which is sometimes used as a stabilizer and it may have some sunscreen properties as well. This has yam root and panthenol for moisturizing and plant-based mucin and vegan milk complex for repairing and protecting the skin barrier. It also has niacinamide for brightening and anti-acne. So I'm really curious about this because it is mineral. So I don't know if it's gonna leave a white cap but this one does say there's a foundation effect, so I believe it is a tinted mineral sunscreen. So let's try it out. This is SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. So you can see the color here, and let's do this on my arm. Oh, wow. Okay, this is like I'm putting foundation on my arm. Okay, so you can see it's definitely tinted. I don't know if this is gonna match the color of my arm, you guys. Oh, interesting. It's giving tinted moisturizer light coverage foundation, which I now have on my arm. I'm impressed, actually. This tint does not look half bad. Okay, I would say this is an extremely impressive mineral sunscreen. Like, hello, there's no white cast at all. It was very easy to rub in. The color match, I mean, that was a very flattering tint. Like, it just disappeared into my skin. It's very creamy, very hydrating. Mostly I'm impressed at how quickly it absorbed. And the tint, I would say, provides like light to medium coverage. Like I can see that some of the freckles and dark spots on my arms are now camouflaged by this tinted sunscreen, which is pretty cool. I'm super impressed. Like I actually really want to try this on my face because I've been, you know, I have multiple tinted sunscreens that I like that I've talked about before. Like the tinted Isden Arifatona Actinica sunscreen that also has DNA repair enzymes. Another physical one I really like that's tinted is from Elta MD. I'll link all of those below as well as the reviews that I did of them in previous videos. But I think I'm going to add this one to my lineup because it's totally mineral and it has such a flattering tint and it's so easy to rub in and the texture is really great. It's lightweight, quick absorbing, non-tacky at all. Yeah, zero stickiness. I'm 
actually super impressed by this. Out of these four, the final roundup, I would say my favorites are these two, the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel, and then this is the physical one that is tinted. Like I mentioned, this is part two of Korean sunscreen reviews. I will have another part coming up for you next week or possibly the week after since I'm going to Singapore on Saturday and I'm hoping to do a vlog for you guys. I don't know how to vlog, but I'm gonna try to figure it out. And if you have any questions or if you have any other ones you want me to review, just leave a comment below. Until next time, bye. Thanks for watching.